Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. I told you guys I was gonna make this video. And I wanted to talk about it because I got some time on my hands right now. I'm on my last break. It's supposed to be a lunch, but I'm gonna do this video, load it, and then get back to work. But I wanna talk about uh, the impact of Kwame Brown and Kevin Samuels, the impact that they've had on uh, just people as a whole, but it, you know, mostly black people. But I gotta tell you something about Kevin Samuels that like really tripped me out. You know, I was um, going to break and I happened to be listening to Kevin Samuels on my phone and then another dude walked up to me and he's not black. He's Samoan. And he said, you listen to Kevin Samuels? I was like, yeah, well, sometimes. And he said, oh, man. The dude said he was a big fan. He said he listened to him every day. And it's just going to show you the influence and the impact a man can have on somebody. And I know it's a lot of people out there that's hating on Kevin Samuels, that's trying to destroy him and come after him but that's what happens when you make an impact and when you have influence kevin samuels over the last uh six months he's been one of the most uh influential men that's on youtube and kwame brown within the last couple of months came out of nowhere and made an impact because these are two men they both had you know different journeys but to get where they are now is astonishing. You know, Kwame Brown came out of nowhere. He had maybe like a couple of thousand subs and this man got 400,000 subs. Now I know they did some BS to him with his channel. I heard it got fixed and that's good for him. And um, Kevin Samuels, he hit over a million subscribers. And the funny thing is you look at Kwame Brown, you look at Kevin Samuels, their biggest detractors have been people that look like us. And you saw all these anti Kwame Brown videos being made by a lot of, you know, black men and women and stuff. And people hating on Kwame Brown, you know, at the end of the day. I'm gonna tell you something. Some of these 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 so-called sisters on here, I'm not gonna call them sisters, black women on here, they really hate for a man to have influence and impact. They are fearful of that. When they say they want an alpha male or they, you know, want to take charge, man, some of them be lying through their damn teeth. And that's just the bottom line. That is just factual. And then you have men that get instantly jealous of guys like Kwame Brown and Kevin Samuels that come out of nowhere. Their channels just blow up within a certain, you know, time length. You know, Kevin Samuels went from like 400,000 in November to like over a million man gets like a hundred thousand views sometimes more than that same thing with Kwame Brown Kwame Brown just do streams if he did videos it'll be a wrap but then you see these dudes that'll come clout chasing you know little uh, fun boys you know like that dude from New York you know who was Africa Bambada's fun boy you know, but I don't want to spend time talking about him. Then you had, you know, Iron Bang and a bunch of her cronies and a, and a, and a cornball and a cornball dude that named himself after a, a cartoon from Warner Brothers via Looney Tunes. So, I mean, you just seen a lot of goofiness. And like I say, sometimes our enemy look like us. You know, but at the end of the day, a lot of it was old-fashioned jealousy. You saw people making videos talking about Kwame Brown shouldn't have a super chat because he already got money and all that kind of stuff, so he didn't make enough money. That is the most stupidest thing I ever heard in my life. Kwame Brown has the right to earn income just like anybody else. And that's the thing. You got black people saying that about other black people. But you don't see them saying, Jeff Bezos, he, uh, uh, Amazon is worth a trillion dollars. He needs to stop making money. Elon Musk, he already got enough money. He needs to stop making money. Bill Gates, he got enough money. He needs to stop making money. Do that make any kind of sense? They don't tell, you know what I'm saying? They don't tell these white dudes they need to stop making money. But then they tell Kwame he should have his YouTube channel uh, 
unmonetized, he should do his videos for free. That doesn't make any kind of sense. That's what you call some serious pocket watching. And like I said before, it was funny when I made that video talking about the, the petition to, to get Kevin Samuel's channel uh, removed from YouTube and get him removed from Instagram. No woman came on there trying to challenge what I said because you know what? I was 100% right. They couldn't debunk nothing that I said because it was BS and you needed to have the same energy. That's why nobody said nothing on that video. So like I said before, I spent a lot of time talking about white supremacy and racism towards black black people, black men and black women. But some, sometimes the hatred and the disgust that I see and the, and the disrespect and the envy come from people that look just like me. And you wonder why black people as a whole can't work together and put shit together and have stuff because you have people that act like these very people on YouTube that are criticizing Kwame Brown and Kevin Samuels. I've said this before. Just like tickets say this. Look, if you don't like my content, don't watch my content. There's plenty of other channels that talk about the same stuff I talk about. If you don't like my boxing videos, don't watch them then. I'll give you an example. You got Canelo fans mad because Canelo is acting like a, you know what I'm saying, just being ridiculous with his demands. So now that I'm making these videos criticizing Canelo, people are trying to flag those videos so they can't get monetized. But they do that with my streams, you know, which I think is it, it's just crazy. But, you know, nevertheless, I appeal them and then I'll, I'll win anyway. But that's, you, you, you know, that's the nature of the beast when you do this YouTube thing. I've said this before. If you don't like what I have to say, don't watch me. Kevin Samuels is not making you listen to his channel. Kwame Brown is not making you listen to his channel. But then you have people that are sit up there constantly make videos about how they don't like his channel. And like he said, this is what you call trying to profit off of him. You want to be anti Kwame Brown or anti Kevin Samuels, but you using their names and your title to get views and to make the, the, the YouTube money. I know this game. I've been on here for a while, so I know how it works. And I think that's a shame. And you just shake your head, just like you got these people attacking Tariq Nasheed for wanting to build like a black museum. At the end of the day, can we at least see if he gonna get the motherfucker built? Can we at least give him some time? Because Lord knows y'all done gave Umar Johnson years. Still no school. At least Tyreek. Now she got a plan and a layout. And I saw people hating on him. And that's unfortunate. You know at the end of the day. You sit up there and talk about how people be hating on you. But then you do the same thing. Let's see can he get this thing built. Now like I said. If you don't believe in Tyreek Nasheed. Once again don't watch his videos. Don't donate money. And Tyreek Nasheed know that people are watching him and they are waiting for him to make one false move. So I think if Tyreek Nasheed say he need a certain amount of money to build this museum, he'll get it done because he know people are waiting and not just, you know, people. I'm talking about the real people. I'm talking about the people that come put you in, in handcuffs. They wait for him to pull a scam so they can Marcus Garvey him. So I'm just keeping it 100. But yeah, this needed to be said. You know, um, I'm proud of Kwame Brown and I'm proud of Kevin Samuels. Hopefully they do do a collab. I know Kwame Brown said he's interested in doing a collab with Kevin Samuels. I think he say, but no, too many people will be hating. But my thing is to hell with them. If you can get it done, I would love to see a Kwame Brown, Kevin Samuels um, collabo. I think it would break the internet. I think it would do big numbers, and I think when I say everybody would probably tune in, I think and I think Kevin Samuels would do it. You know what I'm saying? And I know Kevin Samuels. You know what I'm saying? He on. 
I know Kevin Samuels is on code. So I'm just keeping it a buck. But anyway, this your boy Town Biz. I'm out.